Please put your hands together and keep them together for Alice Bino! Poetry anthology for IGCSE, so I copied some of the techniques and forms to experiment them um, with them. I have some poems um, as some of my um, Godfather David's poems, as well as mine. Uh, there's a little bit of a difference in style, and um, some that do not relate to national days at all. But where did we meet in the soft twilight, soft grass under feet? Yes, I am alright. Small lights trickle down through webbed maroon trees. For the bark rough brown, beautiful we agree. But when time is done, our wean must now part. Mouth smile, spirits not glum, back to the trees we dart. For if you leave us, fine, we stay in moonshine. Time we compare ourselves to others. Mm. 
Yorick, Yorick, better than he. Let go those thoughts, spare thee. Yes, you aren't diamond covered. Are you really bothered? Look at him, monstrosity, glittering, gleaming atrocity. Oh, for the love of God, ignore her artistic fraud. Platinum, diamond, and human teeth doesn't beat you in a flower wreath. Let stars fall and pierce my heart before I call that his art. Did I send you to jewellers to be festooned in colours, or put you on display as a victory over decay? You are glory itself. To diamond dreams say farewell. You are beyond belief without using the gold leaf. Yorick, Yorick, better than he. Let go those thoughts, spare thee. Yes, you aren't diamond covered, but are you really bothered? <laughs> who I heard about on one of my favourite podcasts, Utility Closet. They do really cool stories. Check it out. Um, Ida Lewis. See the lighthouse keeper's daughter sail steadily through storms and ablaze, catapulted crashing through water, the bravest woman in America they praise. The best swimmer in Newport at 14 years. Her first rescue was four men at 12 years old. She rushes out the door without fears, and then find a girl who was so bold. From rescuing sheep to shoulders, tales are true, but saving so many she spread her name, saving 18 to 25 lives to live up to, proving stereotypes wrong with her fame. She unwittingly built her legacy, rising the tremulous, turning tides, but lack of record loses her to history, as never credit she sought, instead she hides. But I shall not forget Ida Lewis, the once famed keeper of Rhode Island. Her modesty, bravery, and heart was truest on the water where she was always on hand. Mm. Uh, do, you, do you guys all know William McGonagall? Yes. <laughs> uh, I found out about him also on Futility Closet. He's the world's worst poet. So I wrote a bad poem in memory of him. <laughs> All the information I got from a website with his autobiography, which is unintentionally hilarious. <laughs> uh, William McGonagall. He received the spirit of poetry when trees and flowers were in full bloom, but fame and success were in no hurry for him ever in the waiting room. However, his 25-year career as a poet would gain him recognition in the end. Though he would not know it, he has a working title to defend. The world's worst poet in England, and over 200 poems he published, the seed of thought clearly wasn't in his hand, and my, wasn't he punished. Death to poetic metaphor, and pelted with peas, his poems just don't scan, and literally everyone agrees about that. <laughs> <laughs> Serious or not about his failing career, the throw rotten fish should have given him a clue. He died a pauper after many years, his poetry never making a root never really making a break through. But who can count such skill and craft when his books are in print today? Unexpected of a man so daft, McGonagall lives on today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> write a serious limerick, and I've uh, challenged several people, so I, I kept on escalating the subject matter in hopes it would be serious, but the last line sounds like too much of a punchline, and they turn out to be weird or funny. <laughs> the, the theme for me was uh, nothing, National Nothing Day is celebrated on January the 16th. At the end there is nothing, despite us being trusting, I have looked before, dreams show me doors, behind which truth was crushing. <laughs> and here is one by the awesome Lucas when I challenged him. <laughs> there once was a fog in despair. It clung to its thoughts in the air. It would sit, it would stew, with nothing to do but suffering, silence, and despair. <laughs> David's nothing poem, which isn't a limerick. <laughs> nothing put her hat best. Nothing put on her best hat and her new jacket, the one she bought with her Christmas money, and went out for a walk, thinking someone's bound to notice me. But nobody did, so nothing went home. An hour later, 
Nobody sat in Starbucks, drinking a carry-on macchiato, thinking of nothing. <laughs> Okay, so the next I wrote a riddle for you guys because the answer is a uh, quite an obscure riddle. <laughs> Good luck. Um, the thing I speak of is never still. It swirls and twirls, sings and trills. It wraps itself around the earth like a shroud. It giggles in mirth, like a crowd. Forward, back again. Unpredictable, dangerous. It always rains. Any guesses? <laughs> Wind. Wind. Yeah. <laughs> the, thing I speak, the thing I speak of is never still. It swirls and twirls, sings and trills. It wraps itself around the earth like a shroud. It giggles in mirth like a cloud. A crowd. Forward, back again. Unpredictable, dangerous. It always rains. Awesome. Rain. Yeah. It's the yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's the sea. <laughs> I was totally correct on. <laughs> Okay, um, so January the 5th is National Bird Day. Feathers black, feathers brown, joy to, hear, joy to hear your wings beat down. I beg a song, sound loud and strong, of loves and battles, kings and crowns. Glittering eyes, weathered wings, finest sound of all the strings. Though looks are plain, you don't complain, the sweetest voice of all the springs. Sing of stories, great mysteries, of forgotten notes and histories. Sing every word and the left unheard. Close, choose my yeah, choose my ears for delivery. Please tell me all, little bird. Please tell me your undying words. Be kept secret, be a grievance. I'll listen to every song I've heard. Feathers black, feathers brown. Joy to hear your wings beat down. I beg a song, sound loud and strong, of loves and battles, kings and crowns and crowns. <laughs> the blackbird and it's rumoured that blackbirds hold um, secrets and stories which is their kind of symbolism. Um, next is a poem making fun of Brexit <laughs> <laughs> because it's socially unacceptable to mention it and I got hit on the head by a moose therefore I can write the words Brexit is a bad idea. Anyway this is called do not mention the Brexit. <laughs> do not mention the Brexit. It is a scar, a wound that's festering deep inside. It hurts, and still we cannot think or speak of it. It splits society like pea pods, divided, and taken apart from people you knew or knew. Divided like a war, a silent raging one, strikes unexpectedly. Friends are not the same. She looks the same and acts the same, as kind and as beautiful as before. But is she now? The ugly truth was maybe revealed, or maybe we were conned, or maybe, maybe we can have different opinions and laugh. We laugh all the same until it is forgotten, lost to time like bad memories. So do not mention the Brexit. I mentioned it once, but I think I got away with it. Like the water, my thoughts follow gently, and the surface reflects down. The serenity drowns my panic, asphyxiating fear. My identity becomes the lake, and I become myself. In the attic, loud and clear, I hear strange footsteps and hide under the covers. It's safe here, but I suffocate slowly. Breathe. One peak above the bed, there is no monster. But I am here. Loud breathing comes from me. Every twist and turn I make conjures monsters. Am I the monster hiding in the dark? <laughs> Finally, I'm going to go 
back to the past and I was experimenting with uh, using check parameter to describe an activity my sister and I used to do. Collecting acorns quick and swift to the water where they drift. Pick out the seed and place with care. We serve for those who are not there. Little boats, light and trusty, wooden ones cannot go rusty. The world is free for those who wander, so we'll be there through sun or thunder. The fey folk take our boats by night, the dancing tricksy little sprites, and eat the food we make all day, but in return they show us ways. In dreams they guide us through the lands, so now we'll stay here on the sand, and wish and craft with good intent, for unseen fairies, time well spent. Hey.